Earlier today, guys, I posted an amazing farm for Throne and Liberty, which I recommended players around the level 20 go in and take advantage of. Well, right now, I post yet another amazing farm, which will no doubt help you and your progress in the main game. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ. Uh, now, I'm giving away 1000 plus Lucent, and if you want to win, it's as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, and make sure you are subbed. I'll pick winners from the comments section and announce them on tomorrow's video. So good luck everybody. The more I see you active, the more of a chance you have of winning. Also guys, join my Discord link down below. I'm trying to build a great Throne and Liberty community. I'm in my own server here. I mean, if you guys want to join my guild, join me. Let's take out shiz together. Do what you gotta do. But yes, all details will be on my Discord link down below. Okay, so once you hit level 20 in Throne and Liberty, you open up open world dungeons. The first one is the Cilius Abyss, I believe it's pronounced, which is a place you can easily take advantage of. This is one that rewards you tons of loot materials and so much more. It's a dungeon I covered earlier on today. If you're around level 20, you should definitely be taking advantage of this dungeon. Uh, but as you progress the game and get up a few more levels, guys, you then unlock the dungeon, which in my opinion is even better. It's called the Temple of Silovef, I believe that's pronounced. I'm probably wrong again. I'm useless at pronouncing these kind of things. But it's even better because not only is it more jam-packed with enemies, but these enemies have better chances of dropping that rare loot, which is what we all want. So this open world dungeon is a place you can just go to and farm. Now there are a couple of requirements, important requirements, which I'll talk about in a quick second. But following this guide, you will see yourself earning utterly tons of those rare pieces so what is great about this farm and why you should be taking advantage of it well because it's an open world dungeon what makes this even easy is you can just come here guys where enemies if they seemingly hit you a little hard you can easily just run around because there's so many players here in the open world just invite them to your party a simple invite if you're a solo player and people will join you as you're seeing on screen now guys i came here because none of my gold was on I invite everybody and everybody joined. We ran around together, sharing that loot, that experience, and so much more. Now, if you have got a guild, if you've got a party, it's going to be even easier for you. If you haven't, if you're a solo player, like I said, come here, guys, and invite players. Simple as that. So, yes, run around here, guys, and what I would recommend is sticking to the first floor. If you feel like the enemies are hitting you a little too hard because if you just run around the first floor the enemies are on a constant cycle of respawning so you'll never run out of enemies now if you do want to go to the other floors it will get harder um obviously loot will get better but if you're in a decent team why not if you're not then i'd just stick to the first floor i mean you've got nothing to lose here so yeah just run around doing what you gotta do guys making it easier on yourself but there's plenty of loot here to be obtained so what loot drops do you get? Where you get vital materials like ores, magic powders, polished crystals and parchments used to make growth books uh, and growth stones by the way, you get materials for these too. You also guys get more often than not rarer materials. You even see those rare growth stones and growth books drop too which is pretty cool. You also get a ton of armor drops as well, which although you may be thinking, well, what's the point of this? They are useless. Actually, they ain't because they all count towards the lithograph, which is a feature if you don't know about, but I'm pretty sure you do, where loot you have collected can be marked off. And when you collect a certain line of loot that you need, you get better rewards for it. So yeah, all this loot is very, very useful. But not only that, guys, you also get XP. Although XP here isn't massive in regards to leveling up your player, it isn't anything like just doing the main game quest line or even side quests, you still get pretty decent amounts. It's not massive, but it all counts, it all counts, people. But you also, guys, get weapon mastery XP, and you get quite a lot of this, which obviously makes your weapons even stronger, which is what we all want. But the only way to farm and take advantage of this dungeon, like I said earlier guys, there is a requirement for this and that is you need those abyssal contract tokens. This is an in-game currency you collect while playing, which we'll talk about in a second of exactly how this is obtained. 
Now the game when you have this will automatically use this upon you taking out enemies within these open world dungeons. Without these tokens guys expect literally nothing from the enemies you are taking out. They will drop you nothing and reward you no XP, no mastery weapon XP or nothing like that. So Abyssal Tokens are an in-game currency that allows you, well, when you farm these enemies, for them to drop you that loot and experience at the same time. So what exactly are these and where do you get them from? Well, like I said, they're an earnable in-game currency. Now the number you have is represented by a small grey school icon thingy you can see at the top right of your screen, or if you pull up your map, it should be at the top of your screen. Now you are limited to how many of these you can have at one time and that number is 20,000 so quite a lot because these do not run out that fast but well, it depends how much you're farming these dungeons to be honest I mean once you get to end game and level 50 you're probably going to run out of these much much quicker and then the options of getting them will kind of fall off but as of right now guys you should be just farming the heck out of these dungeons and spending away in my opinion anyway. Now with these you probably have thousands already and don't know how you accumulate so many. Well there's a few ways you can actually get these. The first way is to get some of those abyssal contract token points which when used they reward you the certain amount they are named after. Uh, these ones you'll see me on screen now having they give me 100 each. Every time I use them they give me 100 to my total tally of abyssal contract tokens. But there are others which reward you upwards of 500 per usage which is pretty cool. So how do you get these abyssal contract token points? Well the most obvious way you've probably I've seen is by doing company. those resistance contracts offered at certain times in the game. Now you are limited on how many contracts you can indeed do i believe at first you have 60 well 60 slots shall we say of contracts you can indeed do once you've done those 60 um you can then only do 10 per day you're limited to 10 per day so do you keep that in mind you can also get these from those co-op dungeons upon you completing them you also guys get these from i believe the battle pass 2 you also guys can get these from those little red fiery balls you can pick up around the map which normally open up a teleporter somewhere near so yeah keep that in mind too but yes as long as you have those abyssal tokens which i will add you shouldn't be anywhere near than that of these as long as you're still playing and leveling up towards the end game you should have tons of these but as long as you have these guys you can take advantage of this farm and earn tons and tons of materials so yes use this farm while it helps which it definitely will early game, so make the most of it. Guys, if you've enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe, and hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.